Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this review is about National Institute of Technology Tiruchirappalli or it's called NIT Trichy. So this is going to be a complete review of all the branches placements. And before that, it is one of the top engineering institutes in India and always ranked best among all NITs, right? And uh, I'll cover the placements, campus life, everything in this particular video. So it was established in 1964 and located in Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu. And all of these programs, including engineering, BTEC, MTech, and uh, MR, BR, all those courses are always rated excellently, as I mentioned. So, if you talk about the BTEC NIRF ranking 2024 detail, it is ranked as first among all the NIT. So, number one NIT and ninth among all engineering institutes, including IITs. And similar thing for the architecture also, it is ranked as the fourth best architecture institute in India. And its strongest plus point is the strong alumni base it has, right? So you can see likes of N. Chandrasekhar, who is the chairman of Tata Sons, or, you know, the founder and CEO K.R. Sridhar from Bloom Energy or Federal Bank CEO or BPCL chairman. So all the top organizations and its chairmen are from here. And you see even starters like Hacker Rank, right? So all those founders, then Tata Steel CEO, I know BPCL, directors and all the top notch positions or you go founder and ceo so most of the well-known companies founders and ceos have been uh, passed from this institute so talking about the courses you know btech mtech uh, uh, mca and all, all courses are there and uh, 800 plus acres are there so which is quite big size campus with all the great amenities admission is through j means uh, followed by josa c set counseling a short glimpse of the campus you know 800 acres so you have every amenity so you see library orion hall right you see lecture hall complex you can see octagon and then mig part of their research facilities then there's a pawn hall and basketball in terms of the sporting amenities nso ground they have gym facilities again a swimming pool part of the campus itself so all modern amenities and facilities are there in the campus Another important point students want to know about is the hostel facilities. So there are 22 boys hostels and 6 girls hostels. So it's a very big facility, 6,966 undergraduate, postgraduate and research scholars join here. So these are glimpses of some of the girls hostel which is Opel, A, B and C facility and first year UG boys hostels which is Agate, uh, Diamond and the Coral facilities. You see another set of hostel, boys hostel, beryl, emerald and pearl. Here is more set of boys hostels, ruby, sapphire and topaz. Then the bigger hostels like jade, lapis. These are some more pictures from the boys hostel, garnet A and B and garnet C. So there are three buildings and couple of more hostels like zircon, A, B and C blocks. And the last one I am showing is aquamarine A block. So now let's talk about the courses offered. So CSE Computer Science Engineering is the main, uh, you know, branch in terms of the placements, 100%. And you have Electronics and Communication Engineering EC branch, then followed by course side Electrical and Electronics, Triple E, Mechanical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Traditional Chemical Engineering branches are also available. And then Instrumentation and Cont Control Engineering, which is ICE branch metallurgicals and materials which is MME branch and the production engineering also there. Now the best part of it is like industrial collaboration with large number of Indian and the multinational companies. So you see Texas Instruments right? and then ISRO, BHL, Airport Authority, those are all in the government sector, Tata still in the private sector. Furthermore, you know, your collaborations with semiconductor technologies and um, uh, institutions, Tata Motors, Micron Technology, NVIDIA, LNT, and international collaboration with the University of Michigan. So based on that, they have excellent research facilities. Again, for example, Siemens Center of Excellence. They do have research facilities for Center of Excellence in Artificial Intelligence. COEAI and followed by National Supercomputing Mission. So all of these great infrastructure for students who want to do R&D.
now let me talk about the fee structure right for so i am going to give the semester wise fees and you will understand so for all the students who are from open open ews obc non creamy layer and the dsa ci wg category right so all those students for, this is the per semester fee so you can see per semester fees is 1,12,450 out of which tuition fees is 62,500 annual fee only one time you have to pay that is in the second semester you don't need to pay annual fee of 20,750 similarly a one time fees is only for the program which is 29,200 so in the second semester only you need to give the tuition fees which is 62,000 rupees now let's see for the other categories for SC, ST and PWD students, you know, the semester fees total is just 49,950 for the reason that their tuition fees is zero, it's fully waived. Annual fees they have to give only one time which is 20,750. So in the second semester you don't need to give the annual fees, one time fees of 29 which you again don't need to give in the next semesters. Now for the students in DSA category or the SAR category of that, you know, uh, your total fees will be two thousand dollars plus forty nine thousand nine fifty. So forty nine thousand nine fifty is mix of basically your annual fees of twenty thousand seven fifty plus twenty nine thousand two hundred at least one time. But two thousand dollars is what is your semester fees. Now let me also give the uh, fees for the M Tech, M Arc, and the other courses. And this again is for the open category. So if you talk about the open, open EWS, OBC, and CL categories. Total semester one fees is 90,450, which includes tuition fees of 35,000. Annual fees only once you have to pay is 20,750. One time fees also is 34,750. And last two items you don't need to give in the second semester. So in second semester, second semester it will be straight 35,000. Now I'll also talk about the SCST category. So total first semester fees will be 55,450 out of which tuition fees is zero, annual fees 20,750, one time fees is 34,750. So tuition fee waiver there and have applies for all the semesters. And similarly, DASA or the SARC for the MTech, these are all master's course, right? So for master's course, again, semester one fees will be $2,000 plus 55450 which is annual fees plus one-time charges, which you don't need to give in the subsequent semester. So only tuition fees of $2,000 will be applicable. Like Now talking about the cutoff trends, traditionally it's very high cutoff and almost the top branches goes into the, you know, $5,000 cutoffs right and the other branches are into 10 to 30,000 so I'll cover the cutoff video separately but it will go larger size so I'm not covering full in this video now let's talk about the placements which is very important and talking about the placement so this is some of the infrastructure for the placements and the type of companies which are visiting like almost every company from the IT and from the non-IT side which is core side engineering manufacturing you can see in this sheet right so you can see on your own these are some more, you know, top uh, national and the international companies which are visiting from the campus of NIT 3G, right? So you can see. Now, in terms of placements, which I'm going to talk about now, so highest salary for this year have been 52.89 lakhs and uh, this being offered to students from computer science engineering, electronics, EC students got 52.89, then electrical and electronics and instrumentation and ICE. So all those four branches, students got the highest package. But other branches have also done excellently well. So chemical engineering, the highest package was 33. Civil engineering also 33. Mechanical engineering also highest package 33. Metallurgical and materials engineering, the highest package was 51 lakhs. And the production engineering, the highest package was 38 lakhs per annum. So all the branches showed excellent trend here. Now, if you see the placement trends in the UG placement branch wise, civil engineering in 2022, it was like 79.8 percentage, 23, which was tougher market, 78.9 and 2024, also 76.2. So there is very, very small percent dip, almost no dip in the bad year like 2024. CSE is the, you know, icing on the cake, which is like, 100% placement for 22 23 and 99.3 so only slight drop if you talk about that triple e branch again see 97 percent it's slightly maintained in all the years ece 98.8 97.8 so small drop in ec placement 96.7 last year 
mechanical engineering also just half to 1% drop which is from 89 to 88 to 87 percent so almost excellent placement materials management branch also 91 to 89 percent and now 87.5 so just one and a half to two percent drop but it's an excellent placement which has happened now talking about the production engineering similar placement 89.3 increased to 91 and now it's 89 so almost fluctuating trend but standard trend I see electro in instrumentation branch you see the placements are always more than 95% so 97 96 and 95 so excellent placement even chemical engineering the placements are in 90s right 92 91 so almost similar but very slight decrease so overall placement you see does not much decline only 1% decline over the previous years same placement trend goes for the postgraduate courses MBA you can see 96% 94 to 91 just 3% decline MCA 100% placement very stable record every year 100% placement MTech in different branches you can see the placements are approximately 94 to 95 in uh, TE related branches and environmental 77 so there is a drop so um, environmental placements are a little bit concerned but uh, otherwise it's a GTE branch also it's like 84% placement in this bad market if I talk about the CSE placements, 100% for two last two years, but this year 97.5 slight drop. PS also 93, 3 to 4% drop. Where PE, uh, you know, production engineering, where it says some 13% drop from 100% placement to 87% placement. And MTech VLSI part, slight drop of just 4% to 96.7. I'm taking thermal also there is 2% down from 95 to 94 to 92% now so slight drop I'm tech other branches also you can see overall PG placements from 89.9 to 88.9 just 1% drop in the bad market like 2024 and this is the NRF placement details stocks the same story and it talks about the median salaries as well as the number of placed students so you see 2022 batch 865 students eligible in engineering UG four year course out of 865 645 of them got placed with the median salary of 12 lakhs and 133 students went for the higher studies in 2023 batch when the placement became tough its placement actually increased 1075 students eligible 863 853 got placed and you can see the median salary is excellent 15.76 which is quite excellent and 142 students going for higher studies and in 23-24 the latest which I am talking now is 1029 students eligible still 791 students got placed so there is a drop of some 50 students getting placed but the median salary is intact 14.35 lakhs that makes it little bit better than the NIT Surat Kal which is in Karnataka so the number one placements from NIT perspective is still like NIT Trichy is number one NIT Surat Kal you can consider as a number two option so that's all I have to cover in this particular video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates take care and bye